there booktube it's Eleanor here and today I'm going to be doing a book haul again books 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 they come from everywhere um the first book I want to show you is Margaret Atwood's The Testament this was one of the books that uh was on my uh video talking about my most anticipated books for the rest of the year so check that out up above if you want to find out what the rest of them are um I will be doing a follow-up to that video as soon as these books have come out and I've managed to read them all um letting you know um you know was I right uh we shall see um I've heard nothing but good things about this I'm gonna hopefully reread The Handmaid's Tale in graphic novel form before I read this um because it's been years since I read it and I'd really like to sort of read that first before moving on uh so I'm not gonna read the blurb of this because I don't really want to spoil myself but Margaret Atwood is amazing and I love all the books that I've read of by her so I'm looking forward to getting stuck into this one I've been really keen on reading uh Japanese fiction and uh this one is Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu uh, Kawaguchi it's quite a short um, short book and it's um, it says in a small back alley in Tokyo there's a cafe that's been serving carefully brewed coffee for more than 100 years but this coffee shop offers its customers a unique experience the chance to travel back in time um, I love the way that um, Japanese fiction sort of toys with a lot of this sort of idea of time um, and and they generally take this sort of one idea this one concept and really sort of run with it and take it to its extreme sometimes I'm yeah I'm looking forward to seeing um, what this one is what sort of things themes this one's highlighting um, a book I've wanted to read for ages and then I did see on um, a book Olive Olive's channel um, was Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs by Caitlin Dirty I love Caitlin's channel she talks about about being a mortician she talks about um, death and death practice um, and I just think that's a really positive thing to be talking about and um, I love watching her videos I think she's a really interesting and a charismatic person um, I really loved her smoke gets in your eyes book I didn't so much like I think it was from here to eternity um, but this one sounds really good it's about the sort of questions that she's been asked from small people some young children um, when she's been doing tours and things um, and she's put the sort of answers and the questions in here and I think there's yeah there's quite a lot of uh, artwork throughout as well which is just lovely and adorable and so i'm looking forward to picking this up hopefully in november because i'm going to be doing non-fiction november really hardcore i think this year so this one will be going on my pile for that i love uh chris and hannah so i picked up night road by Kristen hannah just to add to my collection i just picked up a second hand copy because i'm trying to read all of her books um so i shall be adding this one to my list i think this one's between two friends um both from very different back ones one um, quite affluent one lives in a trailer park with um i think a single mum and um there's going to be love involved here no doubt maybe with the siblings I don't know but um it's a story ultimately of friendship and I think that's what I really like about Kristen Hannah's books often they are involving sort of friendship um and that sort of love um love between family or sisters or siblings um so I'm gonna add this to my pile for future Kristen Hannah reading and I also picked up this one um, second hand which is the sequel to her book Fire Fire Lane which is on my shelf but I haven't read yet um, and that is Fly Away so I'm not going to look at the blurb for this because I don't want to spoil myself but this one is the sequel um, and I'm sure I'm going to love the first one so um, I wanted to have this one for my collection as well. I picked up The Girl Who Came Out of the Woods by Emily Barr in a bookshop in Windsor when me and Matilda went to Windsor Castle recently. I'd heard about this talked um, about at a book some sort of book event it might have been a book event at the publishers or it might have been at a festival um but it just sounds really interesting i think it's about um yeah about arty who's grown up in this sort of um very um hidden matriarchy in the hills of india and she's lived there all her life they don't have any um um, technology or anything like that it's a very basic life I mean then there's this sort of deadly disease that starts killing everyone in the community and she needs to venture out to try and um, get someone to come and help to try and find a doctor um, to, and to go out in the world and try and find people to help and I think going out there something happens I think there might be sort of like a something to do with sex trafficking I don't know I just think it sounds really interesting really different um and when I heard the author talking about it it really did pique my interest and when I saw it in the bookshop I thought I have to pick this one up 
Another non-fiction which I bought preemptively um, before Cheltenham Literature Festival, which I'm going to in October, is When the Dogs Don't Bark, A Forensic Scientist's Search for the Truth by Professor Angela Gallop. I'm going to her talk at the Cheltenham Literature Festival. I think it sounds fascinating. Um, it says Margaret Harrison has already moved out of the flat she used to share with her mother by the time cleaning contractors found a partially decomposed body under a mattress in the hall cupboard. Never before has forensic science played such a vital role in criminal justice, with ever more sophisticated and powerful techniques at their disposal and with the right knowledge and experience the forensic scientists can now help to solve even more complex cases. Um, so Angela Gallup um, CBE was a forensic scientist for more than 40 years um, and she worked on thousands of cases and this is just talking about um, her life and her job and um, her career and what changes were made and, and how forensic science has changed and, and what's happening um, in that and I think it'll probably discuss some of the cases that she worked on. I love a bit of true crime. Another book that was on that anticipated um, books for the end of the year was Chinglish, um, an almost entirely true story um, by Su Chung. This is about a girl that lives in a Chinese takeaway. Um, it's in the 80s. Um, they've just moved into this Chinese takeaway, Joe Kwan and her family. Um, and it's just talking about friendship and life um, and what it's like um, being, um, being different and... I just think it sounds brilliant and again uh, this one's got these sort of fun illustrations throughout so I think it's going to be a really, really uh, fun story but maybe with some really interesting points to be made. A book I'm hearing about all the time on booktube at the moment is Frankly in Love by David Yoon. I've been hearing mixed views on this one um, but nobody hates it. I think it tends to be sort of an okay read or a love read. Um, David Yoon is Nicola Yoon's husband um, and she, she wrote, um, I think she wrote The Sun is Also a Star. Um, which is a book that I didn't so get on with, but I just thought this sounded quite interesting. Um, it's this idea um, of a Korean, um, a Korean boy who wants to date um, an English girl. His parents are sort of against that, so he comes up with this sort of uh, ploy to trick them into thinking that he's dating um, a Korean girl. And um, yeah, I'm interested to read it. I think it will be quite a nice lighter story, but maybe with some really interesting looks into um that idea of sort of racism and um growing up in a sort of korean american culture adding to my goo collection um i've got maureen goo's i believe in a thing called love um you'll notice in my last book haul i picked up another goo book um and now i've picked up this one this is about a girl who um is extremely clever she's going to a, an amazing uh, university or college um but she's never had sort of romance but she's obsessed with korean dramas on tv and i think she's sort of decides that she's going to follow the Korean drama's way of um, finding romance. I don't know, it sounds fun. I don't watch Korean dramas, so I'm sure I will find out a bit more about that as I read as well. In a book box, I was sent Mothers by Chris Power. This is a short story collection, so not, maybe not something that I would normally pick up, um, but it does sound interesting. Um, it says, Mothers is peopled by men and women who find themselves at crossroads or dead ends, characters who search without knowing what they seek. From remote and wild Exmoor to ancient Swedish burials sites and hedonistic Mexican weddings. These stories lay bare the emotional and psych psychic damage of life and love in a stunning debut collection. So it's a debut collection might be interesting uh, I will certainly give it a go the wonderful amazing and extremely talented uh, Jen Campbell sent me the copy of her latest book Franklin and Luna and the book of fairy tales um, she knows that me and Matilda absolutely love these reading these and Matilda gets such a kick out of the fact that Jen and Katie really take the time out to um, write uh, in the book to us and um, she loves that she just thinks it makes her feel so special uh, we've already read this at least five times and I've only had it a few days um, and we shall no doubt be reading it an awful lot more um, it's such a beautiful book I love all of these books we have all of um, all three and we read them very regularly she loves the artwork um, and the stories and she loves uh, Franklin and Luna so Yes, thank you so much to her for sending this and it's a one that we're going to enjoy for many years to come, I'm sure. Uh, next, I'm just going to show you a few bits that I got in um, some book boxes. They came from sort of different ones. Uh, the book box where I got the mothers, I also got this hair therapy deep conditioning mask um, by Beauty Pro. So that might be interesting. I definitely could do with a bit of added uh, conditioner in my hair. Um, I also got uh, from a book box, My Year in Books, this sort of pad where you can write down your thoughts and your star ratings 
things which is quite cute um, and I'll be keeping that on my desk maybe to sort of scribble some notes down every now and again. There was this beautiful um, bookmark uh, that's really um, cute and I shall be using that for sure. Um, there was a book pin uh, which was from the Night Circus. Um, we lead strange lives chasing our dreams from place to place and it's a really cute uh, book pin. And oh, what I was very happy about because I didn't end up getting one of these when I was at Yelk recently even though I really wanted one. Um, this is a Sparrow and Wolf uh, book sleeve that you can put your book in um, to keep it safe when you go out and this says between the pages of a book is a beautiful place and I totally agree so um, I love the look of this one it's a design I really like so I shall be keeping my books all nice and snug when I take them out in my bag okay so unfortunately two of my book boxes had books in them that I had already um, owned or been sent and um, the first one is the 10,000 doors of January by Alex E Harrow um, everyone's talking about this book I think it sounds brilliant um, it's about a, sp a sprawling mansion filled with peculiar treasures. January Scaler is a curious to herself. As the ward of the wealthy Mr. Look, she feels different from the artifacts. She feels little different from the artifacts that decorate the halls, carefully maintained, largely ignored, and utterly out of place. But her quiet existence is shattered when she stumbles across a strange book, a book that carries the scent of other worlds and tells a tale of secret doors, of love, adventure, and danger. Each page reveals more impossible truths about the world, and January discovers a story increasingly entwined with her own. Um, people have sort of likened this um, to the idea of every heart a doorway, this idea of different doorways leading into different places um i haven't heard too many reviews on people who've actually read it yet so i'll be interested to see what i think um but i'd actually got it for myself and then the book box turned up um so i have one of these that i will be um doing a giveaway for at the end of this video also, um, a book arrived in a book box that I've owned for a while, um, and that is See All the Stars by Kate Frick. This is a book um, that I think is a bit of a thriller. Um, it's about a group of friends, something's happened, they go back for senior year, and it's sort of navigating that now these people aren't talking to each other or aren't friends or after whatever event this is. So, I have these books. I'm going to be doing a giveaway for these. Um, if you want to be entered into the giveaway, just let me know in the comments down below. And then next time I do a book haul, I will randomly um, do a random number generator from those um, comments. And I will, um, whoever's number comes up, if I count down, I will, um, I'll send you these books. Um, I don't mind sending them anywhere in the world, so it's international wherever you live. And um, just make sure that if you are under the age of 18 that you have a parent's permission, because I will be needing your address when it comes time to send them to you. Please also make sure that you are a subscriber if you are taking part, because this is open to my subscribers. Um, and uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And uh, that's it really, thumbs up. Make sure you're a subscriber, because I will be checking. And uh, leave a comment down below, and I will pick randomly um, someone next time I do a book haul from the comments in this video uh, and let you know in that video uh, who has won them and get them sent out. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, uh, these are the books that I've bought recently. Uh, do any of these pique your interest? Have you read any of them already? Let me know and as always let's chat in the comments down below. Bye for now booktube.